Hello everybody and welcome to The Lemon Pod, the first of many podcasts that are going to be occurring in the very near future. Today I'm joined by Adam. Say hello. No. Fine. Luke, say hello. I hate Adam. Roy, say hello. 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 <laughs> so we're all here, ready to chat. Somebody start with the topic. Drinking. Drinking. I'm <laughs> drinking. Yes. Now we I'm all... on. Oh, uh. <laughs> now we all know about this. I'm fairly sure. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. Drinking. This is an course. area I am particularly experienced in, of course. <laughs> drinking uh, fluids or. Yep. Drinking yeah. fluids. Yeah. Any any fluid. Yay. Good start. Yeah, Hello. I know, right? <laughs> Did your internet drop out? Uh, I think someone phoned me. Um, I'm having <laughs> more <laughs> <response>. <laughs> Right, this is a thing that I have um, for the the listeners. Um, every time the phone rings in our house, because the the router is connected like directly to the same socket as the phone, because he lives in the nineteen eighties or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's it's because he has it's, dial up. No, it's via a a thingy, you know. A, oh, thingy. A, oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Thanks, Thanks a, for that. A filter. That's a, the uh, one. A a- ADSL line. filter. It's via one of those, but um, it still. When the phone rings, the internet just lags out, and my ping goes up to like two hundred. The, the amazing thing is that the fact that you still use a, ha- a house phone. I've I haven't used my house phone in probably over two years. Well, because, you are a troglodyte because of this great invention called the mobile telephone communication device. <laughs> that is full name. That is his yeah. full name, the mobile telephone communication device. Any way we can make that longer? Uh, no, no, that's as long as it goes. Okay. The mobile telephone oh, is... um, communication. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Adam, what, so, what did oh Adam just put up there? One sex. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. No, I'm not up to that kind of things, Adam. We'll, uh, we'll leave that to another date. What? <laughs> 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 Moving swiftly on. Yeah. Um, uh, BBC News. Farrow yeah. wins 10,000 metre gold in Worlds. Congrats. Who wins 10,000 metre gold? Farrow. Oh. Far- didn't we go to school with... We, we did, we go we did go, yes, we did. Yeah, she's left now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Farrah, no. <laughs> yes, I don't no, think it's that. Well done, Farrah, for swimming 1,000 metres. So proud of you. At, at the world's end. At the world's uh, end. I think this is a different Farrah here. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, the big M. The big M. The big M. The big M. McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> McDonald's. Yeah. This cool. is McDonald's we're talking about here. Other food franchises are available, like KFC. That's oh yeah, not, that's done. <laughs> one one thing in the news, um, they've grown a burger from stem cells. Yes, Hello. Yeah, we've heard about. That. We've heard about that. Adam, have you heard Hello. about that? Oh yeah, I have. Oof. Wow, <laughs> the stuff I hear about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they ate it and everything. Um, yeah. And it, <laughs> Wait, what are we talk? They ate it. <laughs> yeah. I. <laughs> Oh, thing God. is, it was just protein. They they just grew like like beef protein, so there was no fat, so it tasted just bland and awful. Yeah. And people are going, oh, it's not very practical because, you know, oh, it it costs two hundred thousand pounds and it takes two years to grow. Well, you know, cows take more than two years to yeah. be ready for the slaughter or ready for milk. Unless you put give them some bone meal. Apart from that, all wheat that makes them yeah. faster, as we all know, but. And you know the price will go down, so I don't think it's that that crazy of an yeah. idea. That well, doesn't work, by the way. I just want to put that out there. You can't feed cows wheat and they grow faster. No. And not, no. not even in Minecraft does that work. Is no, I <laughs> no, it doesn't actually. <laughs> it's never worked. <laughs> However, fact... it does work with chickens. But this whole yeah. no, yeah, <laughs> this this whole growing beef thing. I've been yeah. pondering, would vegetarians be able to eat it? Because vegetarians believe that we're killing live animals. Yeah. But through the sure, use of stem, stem cells, cells, we're yeah, not where, killing animals. But where do the stem cells come from? They, yeah. they come from the baby animals, don't they? 
Aren't they yeah, but if the, the animal eats? was already... Then again, they don't they eat any meat. So. That's very true, actually. But you're vegetarian. Well, vegans I'll definitely have to ask my sister. She's a vegetarian. No, they don't eat any animal matter. No, um, the whole vegetarianism thing is like, oh, which, because why do corn make products for vegetarians? It's like, I know, I'm not going to eat meat ever, but I still want to know what meat tastes like, so I'm going to buy corn products. Yeah, but corn doesn't taste like meat. It doesn't, it, it just it tastes doesn't. like... Cack. It's not meant to taste like meat, it's just no. supposed to be an alternative. Yeah. Yeah. But, but it's made like meat, isn't it? I mean, they make it into sausages and stuff. Yeah. Maybe it's just so well, it they seems grow more acceptable. Corn cows. Do they, do they grow corn yeah. cows and instead of mooing it says corn and then <laughs> they kill it because that's what happens when you grow food and it's made of a different substance it just says the name of the substance it's made they're like pokemon yes they're like yes. pokemon corn that's what it sounds like <laughs> that was a canny I, I actually thought there was a corn cow in the room well, there is one behind you. I left it in your house earlier. Oh, so you did? Yeah. Thank, thanks, Rory. <laughs> Despite the fact I have no idea where you live. <laughs> I, I think we've been through this before. I live in a hole in the ground. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah a yeah, couple yeah. of you live bits in, like, of stone next to me. A, cobblest a cobblestone skeleton of a house With no without a door. door, and you just squat in the corner and use Starbucks Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Wow. That's the one. Go, corn. Yeah. yeah. Make your lives better. What do you take me for? A vegetarian? I'm gonna have to go kill this corn cow and just forget about it. Do you think you can make, like, hallucinogenic corn, like, out of magic mushrooms? Do you think yes. that's the thing? <laughs> Next question. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I mean, like. <laughs> can you that's the first was, like... thing you think of. That like the weird. horse meat scandal, it's like, but it's a corn scandal, so it's on a smaller scale within the the vegetarian community. Yeah, and well, they're like they keep advertising corn as if everyone should eat it, like it's a great alternative yeah. to meat. But it's then not. everyone's like, yeah, well, bacon, so go away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I must, I must cool. confess though that I do eat quite a bit of corn because my sister. Is a vegetarian, so we do have a few just vegetarian meals. Can we just kick Luke from the call? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'll take that as no. Yeah, the whole vegetarianism thing is quite complicated, so That's if you're a vegetarian, don't bother contacting us. Because I don't care with the utmost respect wow. to your Unless, to your unless you're actually invested in the podcast, in which case... And yeah, please come you in. Should, you should subscribe. <laughs> what happens if every single one of our subscribers on YouTube yeah. was a vegetarian? You didn't yeah. Yeah. We yeah. just... We get zero subscribers. We lose, like, 43 <laughs> subscribers overnight. Oh, my yeah. God. Many they have now. They still disappear. Oh, yeah, 42, because Kieran's sister unsubscribed. Yeah. Doesn't like me. Good. I only want 42. I've been through this before. Yeah, 42 yeah. is my goal because 42 is the best number. And past that, well, it's just not worth it. So... <laughs> it's not worth it anymore. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, next topic. 84. Um, here's one. Chernobyl's legacy recorded in trees. Uh, just radiation <laughs> from 1986 no, no, Chernobyl no, nuclear accident. That is all the title, okay? <laughs> it's a title. It's like a case of cells. Well, surely that's just the whole carbon dating thing. Yeah. Well, no, there's quite yeah, an impressive 14. picture, though. It's quite an impressive picture. It's like the trees. You know how there are rings in the trees? Oh, they're like the triffids. In, the inner everywhere. rings? Yeah, no. The inner rings are like light, and the outer rings are like dark. Oh. And it's quite impressive. There's like a definitive line where the accident was. Is the carbon-14 a different colour, then? Um, yeah, it's pink. <laughs> pink? Yeah. Oh, I never knew that. They've become fabulous trees. <laughs> Fabular plants. I don't know. It doesn't fit very well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <coughs> Sorry. Chokes. Yeah. Now, something very close to my heart that made my day today. Redhead stage ginger pride march at Edinburgh Fringe. So, top yeah. marks there. Ginger power. To ginger the rescue. pride march. There was a ginger pride march because. Ginger... You, I, you'll be campaigning for, you know, 
ginger marriage rights now, won't oh. you? you gingers, ginger. We, we can't marry gingers. <laughs> gingers aren't allowed to marry at the moment. It's one of the biggest world issues, unfortunately. Yeah. But did you know? Whenever I get on a bus, whenever I get on a bus and there's a ginger person next to me, I move seats because yeah. I just don't it's right, but I should have to Or we have to have, like, separate <laughs> water fountains for gingers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's what happens in England. In... Yeah. Yeah. It's quite that, funny, that's really. How bad segregation's got here. It's not bad. It's, it's, well, we, yeah, that's, that's how it should be. Well, right? I, want, I want you to imagine Adam, that you're currently talking to a ginger. Am I? Luke, are you ginger? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is news to me. <laughs> well, I think he is. Yeah. Uh, you see, he the problem is that... His... All his hairs with multi-strand wire. The problem is that all of our viewers are ginger vegetarians, so... <laughs> so does that mean they'll support me but hate everybody else? But then the vegetarians yes. hate me because I told them that I don't care about the vegetarianism, so I've lost all my ginger subscribers as well. Yes. So it was, uh, no matter what. Great yeah. going, guys. We've lost everybody. <laughs> we can wow. quit. Here's your paychecks, the 20, 22 pence. Yes. Hope, you, hope you enjoy them. Spend them well. You got lemons pence, in the post. Pence. Twenty-two pence yeah. that we managed to get because Kieran bought a T-shirt of the website that he sent. <laughs> yeah. That gave me two pounds commission. Hey! <laughs> I gave myself two pounds. Wow. Two pounds that you already had. Yep. <laughs> The fact that that t-shirt is now screwed up in the wardrobe because I can't be asked to iron it and find it, that's not wow. the point. It's in there. You can find it before you iron it, though. Pardon? Or you could just iron the entire wardrobe. I could just iron the entire wardrobe. <laughs> that's what like, I do. Just throw your iron in there, hopefully it'll do its work. <laughs> an, an, an iron that's plugged in, you just yeah. chuck it in and hope for the best. <laughs> I, it's, I, it's like I, the worst version of take ever. I seem to get I this horrible find you, and I burning will find smell, you. but I think it'll do. I think the burning smells are a sign that it's finished. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, the burning smell, you've got to wait until it gets hot, and then you just leave it a lot longer. Then you just start to pass out because it's like the it's really hot. smoke. Now I've been waiting. T I've been holding off on this, but has everyone heard about the the new bird. Pokemon yeah. news? No, not the bird. I I haven't heard of Pokemon. I never played Pokemon, so sorry. Yeah, yeah. well, I, I, I'm talking to the, the people who do play Pokemon, <laughs> which is Adam. I, <laughs> is Adam. I have never played a Pokemon. It's game, just a so. magical mystery thing that means that we can now move vertically on the screen. <laughs> that is big news. I'll tell you that now. All those ledgers that are everywhere in the in the in you know all of the <laughs> land of, of wherever the next region is. I forget what it's called. Yeah, uh, you can just jump over them all now. So you basically wow. you can get to the elite four with the level one Pokemon or wow. level five, whatever you start with. Um, no, the the news <laughs> is <laughs> pointless, but yay. <laughs> The news is um, there are mega evolved Pokemon now. That's a thing. By George. Yeah. It's, wow. it's, it's, it feels a little bit like Digimon, but the idea, well, from what I've seen so far with a Blaziken, and there are a couple more, um, in battle, you can mega evolve them to become, like, super powerful. Wow, that doesn't sound like Digimon. <laughs> digital champions to save the digital world. Can I just say, by the way, if you don't like Pokemon at this moment, you can just phase out. Okay. <laughs> Keep going. Well, there I go with another 40 subscribers. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but, yeah, we're now, we're now on minus, minus 40 subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but you can, you use a stone, they have to be like holding a mega evolution stone, and they evolve into an, into an awesome mega evolved form. What, what does a Mega Evolved Magikarp look like then? Well, not all not all Pokemon. <laughs> what do you mean? I, think. I think you'll find that a Mega, a mega Evolved Magikarp is just a normal Magikarp. <laughs> no, I does think it you'll find it's a Gyarados. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, cool new things in Pokemon X and Y. Lemon Co. Yeah. sponsored by Nintendo. Yeah. <laughs> now, on to the property market. 
The property market? Yes. What has this been a thing? As we all know, that Spain is in an economical crisis at the moment. Who yes. doesn't? They, they, there was a disused airport that was in the Top Gear episode a few, a few weeks ago. I was going to say, it's not like you've watched a, a program about economics. You've literally no, learned all this from Top, Top Gear. Gear. <laughs> and they're selling their airport for a small amount of £86 million. Pounds. Oh, that is quite small. Yeah. Uh, well, let's you buy know, it now. It, Come on, guys. Yeah. And the title is, Disused Airport for Sale in Spain Would Make a Great Supervillain Lair. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, a pretty good news title. I um, like that. Do you want to know who this is from? Who? The Fantastic Chaps at Metro, the free Metro. newspaper. Wow. <laughs> well, there was that one recently, wasn't there? I'll just we charge my phone. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> and they've made like um, oh, a... Urine, yeah, a urine yeah, power you're power. in charger thing, so you can... Or your information. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, but the fact that they've they've labelled all the pictures, the first bit of a picture of a control tower, and they've put tall tower and fence. That's all they've put. <laughs> then there's a yeah, they sound like supervillain applications yeah. to me. They've got a picture of uh, a terminal, and they put spacious indoor area <laughs> for those products that need to be kept out of the sun. <laughs> and then there's an image of a, a one of the tunnels that lead to the aircraft from the title is Long Tunnel Thing. Uh, Perfect for that moment when you finally trap your nemesis and get thrown into them in an abyss dirt below or scar to Mufara or the Lion King. Oh no, Mufasa in the Lion King. It's Mufasa, you fool. <laughs> Mufara in the Lion King. <laughs> <laughs> to be this, is al- this is an <laughs> alternate version where Mufasa lives because his friend Mo Farah um, has yeah. r- run into the gorge, picked up Simba, and got back up to the top of the gorge before the wildebeest can even blink. Yeah. What are you talking yeah. about? That's not the alternative. That happened in the original. <laughs> that actually happened. Yeah. Yeah. I remember, yeah, I remember it well. Now. Wasn't yeah. that like The Lion King 4, though? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> It's funny because after a while, after like the first Lion King, they realised that no one cares about any characters except for Timon and Pumba, and so just concentrated <laughs> on them. Really? Has there been a second one? There's been like three. Yeah. I, I had no idea. I thought and only... three was just Timon and Pumba sitting in a cinema watching the first <laughs> yeah. Lion King movie. <laughs> and that's not even a joke. That is literally what yeah. happened. <laughs> I mean, there's a sing-along at some point where a... a Half dead ladybird, like falls over the words to act as kind of a, a marker, I guess, so you can sing along. Wow. Um, and that's it. <laughs> oh God! I remember as a kid, I used to watch. Um, they did like this mini series with Timon and Pumba where they travelled around the world. It was awesome. <laughs> it was just yeah. so good. I, yeah, yeah, I remember that. I just used to watch. It. And they had so many different varieties of bugs and stuff. I wanted to try some. <laughs> yeah. They did try look very... Some. They almost <laughs> looked delicious, didn't they? Well, they were like... They went into the detail describing the different types. It was great. Um, oh, I think some of these microphones are breaking up or the, somebody's making a telephone call with their telephone yeah. communication <laughs> device. <laughs> Telephone communication difficulties. I think actually just you're just making fun of my speech impediment. Yeah. Yeah. He makes this kind thing where of the call that happens. Yeah. Wow, that was actually pretty realistic. It was. Well, I've heard it so many times, you know. <laughs> All, All that time we spend at school, you you always do it, Adam. I do. <laughs> I just freeze. It's not like a. It's not just a speech impediment. I literally just freeze. You're having mini strokes all the time. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> oh god. You have to kick me to reboot me. Adam got EXE It's a literal is not rebooting. It is. You got to put on a special boot to do it. One with very sharp prongs. Like spurs. Yeah. <laughs> I 
Adam.exe is not responding, yeah. 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 In the corner of every classroom, there's just a break here in case of Adam.exe is not responding button. <laughs> yeah. To just reboost the system. You've got to force start it. Yeah. Uh, force restart or force quit. Force quit. You got to use yeah. the force, and it's like a force power, isn't it? I love that. It's like force, re force log off. <laughs> once you, yeah, what's your power? My power is to force any any program on my computer to stop. <laughs> You're like, I can feel the disturbance in the force. My CPU usage is up to seventy nine percent. Wow. Oh dear. You should have got an AMD. Oh, oh Luke. Sponsored by AMD. Well, you know, we can hardly <laughs> hear glass you. Luke. There, so. yeah, yeah, that's that's Luke. That was the sound oh, of me. Oh, that was the sound of me shattering oh. my bottle against my desk in pure fury. <laughs> wow. I was so angry just then. I thought you just had it in your hand, and you know, your hand was so tense, and <laughs> you know, you just crushed it. <laughs> yeah, I do that all the time. <laughs> my hands are just made of steel now. I'm just, I'm just giving up. Have you noticed, right, Superman is called the Man of Steel in the new film, but yeah. steel isn't even that strong, really, is it? <laughs> I mean, it's... Well, no. It's <laughs> nothing compared to what Superman actually is. No. Or what he's supposed to be, anyway. Should be it's Man of... Mind. Man of Bedrock. Man of Carbon. That seems pretty cool. Man of Carbon Nanotube Man. Complex. Yeah. <laughs> your your microphone's very quiet, Luke. Yeah. What? We Is can hardly hear you, Luke. Quiet. Am I gone quiet? Oh my god. Now you've gone very robotic. Hello. Uh, hello. You Technical speak louder. Yeah. I am do, speaking do, do, louder. Do, do. That's right, good. That's way better. Now. Yeah. What do we think of the new Doctor then in Doctor Who? Oh, I don't know. Peter I've Capaldi. Got... I've been through this before, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, it's Tom Scar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I so wish it was. I think yeah, it'd be great. It would be he would be great. <laughs> Why no. is it another Scott, he... though? I don't, <laughs> I don't really understand. The... I don't What'd think you say? Tom Scar would be the pacifist, though. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'm like... you... This guy's not really a pacifist. No. So... I like... All the actors in the in the acting society or whatever Scottish. Yeah. yeah Next quite question. <laughs> How about this on the property topic? Lost medieval manor house found in Leicestershire. How, yes, How was it that. lost? Where's it gone? I know it's around here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I thought it was here a minute ago, and then it, it just went away. I mean. <laughs> Lost yeah. Manor House. I thought I left this in Scotland. <laughs> Is it just like like an elderly couple have gone out and then <laughs> like they they come they they try to come back home but you know oh, it's we lost. They, it's yeah, like they that. they just come to the wrong location and they're like, oh no, we've lost a house and then like they call the police and the police come along and they're like, we found your house, ma'am. And, um, and that's then, how all police sound, no yeah, matter where they're yeah. from England. Generic yeah. English policemen. That uh, said, yeah. it's like, and you know, uh, there you go. And so it's been found, and they decide to make an article on it. Just turns out it's 150 miles away from your current location. It's like yep. uh, that, that old so couple. They were in the news today. They are old couple who used their uh, free bus pass to travel, like most of the UK or something ridiculous like <laughs> took 21 buses across half wow. the UK or something well, see, that's what I would do if I was 61 I would travel the UK just because I could so, yeah. you know, where are you going to go today well I fancy going to Scotland just for the sheer fun of it <clears throat> because that's how the British bus system works <laughs> Because we all know that the good old government says, here's your free bus pass, love. You can travel the length and breadth of the United Kingdom for free. Uh -huh. Yep, that, that is, that's why, you know, everyone comes here. That's, that's why everyone likes the UK so much. Yep, 
And because they why, obviously do. The fact that everybody in Britain hates David Cameron because he's an absolute... What's, <laughs> what's the friendliest term that I could possibly come up with here? I think this is mostly you, by the way. <laughs> Maybe, but I know for full well quite a lot of people on Twitter dislike David Cameron. And Do you have several Twitter profiles, Kieran? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just you, like, a hundred times. Yeah, there's me, then there's uh, Jeff Stokes. Are you all our, sta- subs- all our subscribers yeah. as well? I'm all 42. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm subscribed, so does that mean I'm just... You're me. So I don't am I. Exist. So am I. I'm, a, I'm not sure I'm subscribed. Turns out this wow. turns out we're all an inception now. It's all a dream, guys. <laughs> I thought well, actually out. all just Kieran's memories and, and dreams and stuff. You know, That'd be really weird. You know, how weird would it be if like, you just wake up and it's like, oh, that was a shit dream, wasn't it? <laughs> it's <just> like, <laughs> I've had such a boring dream. Then you wake up and it's like, Kieran, first day of primary school. Yeah, Shit. oh my gosh. <laughs> no, no, not again. <laughs> not again. Yeah. That's what I believe that's going to happen when you die. It's like when you die, it turns out that you're actually just starting secondary school or primary school. It's like, well, that was one I think, hell of a I think boring that's dream. hell, Kieran. I Maybe, think. <laughs> probably. Or purgatory. I have to go through it all again? I don't, yeah. But why? I don't want to do it again. It's already sucked once. <laughs> That'd be awful. And that's my belief on life. Wow. But it's just all a dream. Wow. <laughs> Lemon Co. is sponsored by Inception. <laughs> yep. <laughs> How about... What does this no. tell you about the UK? On BBC, most popular red, Lady Flasher exposes in car park. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, can you send me a hyperlink to this, uh... <laughs> 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 uh God. You know, if anybody doesn't know, the BBC stands for the British Broadcasting Corporation. It does, yeah. Other news readers are available, like ITV, Jon Snow, and Channel 4. But you can't Jon pay Snow. them anyway, because they only, they're, they're not allowed to be paid, they have to take their money off advertising. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it works. The BBC gets all the money, and everyone else has to, you know, scrounge off advertising. Yep. Yeah. By claiming that the BBC are great, even though Jon Snow is better because he wears ridiculously colourful socks. Every night on Channel 4, after Hollyoaks. <laughs> well, he was in the Beano. He was in the Beano. He put it on Twitter. <laughs> Oh my god, this story is so funny, right? <laughs> it's about a woman who basically stripped off in the middle of a children's uh, play area. But that's not the funny bit. The funny bit is that it says, one person who saw her, uh, it says, the 33-year-old victim took two photographs of the suspect, suspect as she ran away. And it's just like, yes, I'm taking these for evidence. <laughs> evidence. Air quotes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh come wow. on! The fact that the fact they didn't say, oh, the fact they didn't say the identity of the person is quite literally a bloke running away, <laughs> standing there for two minutes thinking. No, it's a woman. Is it a woman? It's a woman. By George. Well, you know, I bet he didn't take two photographs. I bet he took two photographs with the flash, and then like he put the he put the camera on that. You know that thing where you can make it do several photos per second. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just without the flash, because obviously you can't have it flashing for that long, capacitors and stuff. Uh, <laughs> Electronics, yes. So yeah, he he probably just did that. Probably realised, oh yeah, I could be taking like a thousand photographs of this really easily. Yeah, the fact that the British population has nothing better to read about than Lady Flashes makes it even better. Well, what what would you rather, you know? Well, I'd rather read about terrorist that. Terrorist than... gets through incredibly stringent border police uh, um, <laughs> and blows everyone up. You know, I, I like mean, <laughs> I like looking at the different ways that the different news um, news sites tell the story. Like Mail Online says, woman flasher unzipped her jacket to expose herself in front of young children in a car park. The Mirror says, do you know the female flasher? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I love this whole tabloid thing. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's like Fox what? News, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fox News. Come on. Oh God, Fox oh, News. Fox yeah. News. If you can call it news. Well, I, I thought it was a comic. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was toilet paper. Well, yeah, but you know, hamster, hamster bedding. Hamster bedding. What, so it's shredded up toilet paper. Yeah. <laughs> Tesco's finest. Oh dear. Tesco's what? finest shredded up toilet paper. Yeah. <laughs> is that a thing? I, I think Tesco Valley toilet paper is probably half a ply thick, so you half might as well just call it shredded anyway. You know, what I two ply. Yeah. Got. It literally the... is just sandpaper. Yeah. I love recycled toilet paper. Oh, God. <laughs> when they're like... <laughs> I don't think anyone's realised yet. Maybe they have, but... <laughs> you know, they, they've, they like, got it on their shelves. Recycled toilet paper. And you're like, well, is it made from old toilet paper? Do they just get a net in the sewage and just, like... Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> scoop it all out, bleach it, and re remould it. Or... Yeah, but, Rory, the thing is, they could do that. But everyone, whenever they see recycled toilet paper, everyone would think, nah, they can't be doing that. That's disgusting. <laughs> yeah. So they'd get away with it. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone yeah. would buy it because they just thought it was recycled paper. Yeah. Uh, that's just disgusting. Oh, no. I Ooh, recycle my disgusting. toilet paper. You know, Tell like, you when you run out of toilet paper, would you rather, you know, an A4 piece of paper or some recycled toilet paper? <laughs> I'd rather use the A4 paper than using a used piece of toilet paper. Really. Yeah, I probably would. Yeah. yeah. I tell tell you what's really disgusting: the people who use um, wet wipes instead of clean roll, and then it forms those what's what they call uh, fat bergs in the sewers. What? Yes, I read about it on the BBC. Yeah, they are disgusting. I've never heard of they're, these. They're basically what they are. It's when wet wipes mix in with um, like chip fat and stuff. Oh, which right. gets thrown down into the sewers from like sh fish and chip shops, and it forms basically massive solid masses that are impossible to remove unless you rem remove them by hand. And because uh. they just sit in the sewer and don't go anywhere, a massive build of sewage is formed, and the stink is horrendous. I'm sorry, why? You see, do this you know is this? what we have robots for. <laughs> the disgusting thing is that they found a fatberg in Lund the London sewers, yes, and it was news, 15 it? tons of fatberg, oh. the equivalent of a double-decker-sized bus of fat oh. and nappies oh, and just gosh. general fat and wet British wipes. weight. Which was, and they were saying, that basically, if they haven't found it then, that a human excrement would have been coming out of manholes in the streets of... Uh, where is it? Uh, Kingston, London. And, oh, dear lord. Yeah, uh, it's pretty Cat disgusting. That, that is really disgusting. That's, it is very nasty. Oh. I have a question. And what you'll find, yeah. Why is everything always compared to double decker buses? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, and Archaeopteryx, well, it will be Archaeopteryx. Brontosaurus was this long. That's as long as ten double-decker buses. <laughs> or no, yeah. it'd be like that's as long as ten point seven six double-decker buses. Yeah, like, it's like oh no, not the point six seven. They, they show it like it's made out of double-decker buses, but double-decker buses don't go into that like that length yeah. very well. Yeah. It's just because people associate double-decker buses with being quite big. If you <laughs> ask someone how big a double-decker bus was, though, they wouldn't, they wouldn't know, would they? Me, no. No. It's pretty big. It's big enough, I suppose. I'm pretty sure we invented meters and stuff, you know, measurements feet. like yeah. feet and inches <laughs> so that we could easily measure things. We didn't invent double-decker buses as a <laughs> unit. <laughs> well, it's better than using, it's using deep time deep as a deep. measurement. Like uh, as a measurement of length, like they do in um, the, the Highway it. Code. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they did do that in the Highway Code. They were using time as a as a measurement as of a distance. distance. This car is five seconds away. <laughs> God. 
that's enough to do any three of the following. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading a, I was reading a, an article today that was saying how time probably doesn't exist. <laughs> it was right. quite interesting <laughs> because they were they got a, a pretty interesting equation that just didn't that explained quite a large amount of the universe and it just didn't mention time in it at all to explain the universe. Which I thought was quite interesting. How do you That's explain fine. the universe? Did you know that the universe is more is longer than a double decker bus in size? <laughs> <laughs> no. no, I didn't know this. Abby. You've enlightened me today. So, the universe is more than infinity double decker buses long. <gasps> wow. That's pretty big. It's it's pretty infinitely big. big. <laughs> How long hang on, I've I've got a thing, right? A thing for us to do. You've got a thing, have you? Right. Each one of us guess how Rory's long the double decker bus is. And okay. then I'll go on the internet and look it up. But surely there are different sizes of double decker buses. Yeah. They're not like a standard London, size. London Route Master double decker. Okay, so the brand new one, the one that was designed for the 2012 yeah. Olympic Games. Yeah. Is that okay, the yeah. one? Is that the, high, uh, the um, hybrid one? Yes, it is. Jesus, right. could we do be doing something a bit more British? Guessing the size <laughs> of double decker buses. Not just a double decker bus, Adam. It's a Route Master 2012 Olympic Edition. Have you got this up relevant? Is, I, yeah, it's like the Coke glasses. I, yeah. Who's, um, who's going right. to have a guess I'll, then first? I'll guess first. Then. Length. Are we guessing length? The length, yeah. yeah. Length. Okay, I will guess at about uh, seven meters. Long. Seven meters. Okay. Rory, are you are you not guessing because you've got it? Um, right? I'll guess at the end. Okay. <laughs> that's really got to start. Like... No, I haven't got it up. That's that's why I'm feeling a bit anticipative because I might I might not actually be able to find this <laughs> how long it is, and then I'll look really stupid. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, I am gonna guess using my favourite scale. I think a double decker bus is about one. Double decker bus long. Wow. <laughs> okay. I then. could tell that was coming. Good length. <laughs> no, I'd probably say about um, eight meters. Eight meters. Okay. Ooh. Kieran. Now, I I think it's a lot longer than eight meters. I'd probably go like maybe ten point five meters. Wow. 5 meters. I think <laughs> I think double decker buses are pretty big. Um, pretty big. Wait, can I change my answer to three pi meters? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, you can. Three pi yeah. meters. Uh, that's about nine, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah nine nine so, meters. Nine there's meters. no pi button on my keyboard, so I'll just have to type type pi. <laughs> now it says three pim. <laughs> um, I'm I'm gonna go for about ten. I'm gonna go for ten meters. Uh, so got. 10.5, 10, uh, 9. Yeah, it's not Adam. No, it's 3 nine, pi. Nine three point, pi. It's nine, Adam, it's 9.424777960769397157183. Oh, oh, seven, 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 <laughs> right. You guys are going to look like fools when that's the exact length. I'm just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it can't be because it's a recurring decimal. It can't be the exact length. Yeah, well, double decker <laughs> buses are magical things, Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so what is it then? Uh, I'm finding it now. Yeah. Talk amongst we're yourselves. Never gonna know. We're never going to know. The answer is going to be one double decker bus long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That isn't really talking among ourselves. <laughs> it's playing a little jingle to pass the time. Right, okay, I've got it. Uh, <laughs> well, this is the length of the original Route Master anyway. I assume the new one's roughly the same. Because there's only one set of stats and it's like they're all different models and they all look the same. So, the length of uh, a London AEC Route Master is... 8.38 meters. Wow, that's pretty small then. I said 8 originally. Why did, no, I said 7 yeah. originally. Seven no, you said 8. I said 7. So oh, right. There's also then. another length that says 9.14 meters. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hang so on, I'm what not was sure which one it is. Oh, that's pretty close. 
I think Adam wins that then. I definitely think it's I think the both of, <laughs> I think both of the numbers were closer to Adam's than mine. I was just say I found the brand new bus. I found the actual room to start. Found a new bus. I found, I found, I found a bus. bus. The official length <laughs> for the for the new bus for London. The new route master is eleven point two three meters. Eleven point two three. Yes, I thought 11. it was pretty big. That's, That's longer. It is longer. Right, so you win. I win. That's it. I'm going to change my answer Karen to wins. four pi. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's still yeah. bigger than. It's 12 isn't it? point something, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So I still win. I know. No, I but win. that's thrown a whole scale off now. Because, I mean, what... It could be either an original... If, if your model of a, a double-decker bus is a route master, you could be talking about an original route master, you could be talking yeah. about, like, the yeah. second generation, or you could be talking about the London 2012 one, which, which is, is like, LT three meters long. So now... Good Lord. We've screwed all the dinosaur measurements. So this is this is the problem that um, uh, the Egyptians had with their arm, their arms long, their arm lengths and their foot lengths. Well, that was just f***ing stupid, wasn't it? Because hey, any, any Luke, fool could measure their arm against another Luke, guy's arm. I'm no historian, but I'm pretty sure there were no double deck buses in Egyptian times. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but on a final note, do you want to know how much the new bus for London actually costs? No, I don't. Okay, let's... Goodbye, everyone. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's it. Bye. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. It costs £354,000. Oh. Each. Each. So, if everybody's wondering... I don't know what I'd be talking about. This is like why the British that. is in a fucking economical crisis. Uh, and on that note... <laughs> I, I say farewell because and all, all no. our people are importing from um, India or wherever we get our tea. Where do we get tea from now? Is it tea. China? China, probably. Yeah, all the tea in China. That's all that's a fairly new sight saying, obviously. So. Yeah. Yep. Well, we used to get tea from India. Yeah, the East India Tea Company. It depends if we're on this fair trade tea, though. This stuff that tastes like cack. <laughs> So, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the first Lemon Co. podcast. Uh, the Lemon Pod. The Lemon Pod. Because we all know lemons grow on pods now. Yep. So, uh. What the f- anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> farewell. I've been Kieran and I say goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Adam. Yep. Say goodbye. No. <laughs> okay. I think Luke's gone anyway. I think Luke's. Yeah, Luke's. Luke's. Up. Internet's dead. Luke so, said, uh, I never got to hear what was after so. Yeah. <laughs> so we're um, gonna we're gonna get a team of historians to translate that into English. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll get back to you next time. Well, it, I, I I'm a bit of a historian. I did it for GCSE, and um, oh, I'm yeah, sorry, that, Rory, that says I... that that says. Five double decker bus lengths. That's it. Oh, okay. Nice. Ah, that makes sense. Okay. okay. Anyway, see you all.